The Declaration of Independence. You've heard the words before. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. You know the rest of it, or maybe you don't. Anyway, why was it written? Why would a bunch of guys get together and put this on paper? Uh, by the time they started writing it, they had been fighting for over a year. The war was already going on. Everybody knew that America wanted to be independent. We didn't want to be slaves to England. We wanted freedom. Uh, so why write this document? What's the purpose of this document? Let's take a look. In 1776, the war had already been going on for a full year. The Revolutionary War, the War of Independence. It was time for us to explain ourselves to the world. And so the Declaration of Independence is a document which was designed to tell the world what we're doing. We're fighting for independence, and we're doing so because every human being has a right to be free. It took a lot of discussing, a lot of negotiating, because there were different points of view, and we had to find one way to explain this to represent the entire country. The committee met and wrote a rough draft. Thomas Jefferson did most of the rough draft. It was presented to the whole convention in Philadelphia in July of 1776. They made a few alterations here and there, and they wrote a document that said, here's what we're doing, and there's a reason why we are doing it. Inalienable rights. Human beings are born to be free, they are born to have chances, they are born to have opportunities. This was the first time in the world that the idea of freedom was the basis for a government. Prior to this point in time, the right to rule, the right to have power, was considered the property of one family. That family was, of course, the royal family, kings and queens. So, if you were living in a monarchy, which was pretty much every other country in the world at this time, you were essentially held hostage to one family which had the power and would hand the power down to its children. The Declaration of Independence was the first of three documents, and when you take these three documents together, written over the course of a little bit less than 20 years, they form a system which explains the ideas, the philosophy, but also the practical details of our nation and our government. Again, the bottom line, a government based on the idea of freedom, the idea that the individual should be free from government regulation, government control, the idea that the government must be limited. We have to keep the government in check, not let it get too strong, or it will mess with you. So the Declaration of Independence explained to the world, but it's a good reminder for us here as well. So as with any document, anything that you write, you think about the audience. Uh, part of the audience was the rest of the world. What were the other countries supposed to think? France, Italy, Russia, China, all these different countries were watching us have a revolution. So we were telling them why we're doing it. But part of the audience was also ourselves. We wrote this document to clarify to ourselves exactly what we were doing and why. Bottom line is, it's short, one big sheet of paper, not much to read, but it clarified the existence of an entire nation.